so I was playing obviously for Leeds and my first encounter with Bats was with when he was at Newcastle. Mm -hmm. So and I, and I remember we were playing up at St James's Park and I remember the ball came in just in our half line and I remember going up for a header and Bats was coming in and he went bang, elbow, straight across my upper lip, cut me <laughs> seven stitches up there. And I remember going on the bus and I was trying to talk and all the players were laughing at me, this, that and the other. And in that, I think in that January, I think we signed him. Mm -hmm. And I remember going up because I was the like the main player. And so I remember going up to Bats and like, I'd seen Bats play and I knew what he was like and all that. I remember going up to Bats, hi Dave, you know, introduced myself, da da da. I said, oh Bats, can I just ask you a question? He goes, yeah. I said, up in St. James' Park, why did you elbow me? He goes, I don't know. He just walked off. And I just went, <laughs> okay, that was his character. He wasn't like, he, he was funny, but he just come in, done his work and, and, and went home. And people always say, oh, you've played with some fantastic players. And mm -hmm. I have played with some fantastic players. But for me, the best players are the most simplest players. The ones that never give the ball away. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, Bats never gave the ball away. Never gave the ball away in training. Never gave the ball away in the game. Knew his role, understood his role, mm -hmm. and gave the ball to players that could do the better job. And that was him. And I think when you go back to... Everyone talks now about the holding midfielder. That is one of the main positions mm -hmm. of football. Mm -hmm. Everyone talks about Makaleli, everyone talks about Fernandinho. That started that, I believe. He was the first one in the England squad, for Newcastle, for Leeds. And, and I saw him most at Leeds, and even in Blackburn, but most at Leeds where I said he just sat in front of that, the two centre halves, broke everything up, mm. solid in his challenges, kept to his job, mm. got the ball, won the ball, played the ball, looked for me a lot of the time, gave me the ball, and then just covered me. And I think. As a player like me, the one that drifted around, wanted to see certain areas, sometimes didn't do the defending side, he would be there. And that's what I loved about players. I don't, like you can talk about great players doing this, great ball, this, that. I love simple players that play the game simple because football's not difficult. It's a simple game. Get the ball, play it forward into a position where someone's easier. That's a really big piece. If you, the, one of the hardest thing to do is to make football simple. It's one of the things that people say about Busquets, one of the things that people maybe said about Carrick for sure. And it, Batty's work was in a real sort of war zone if he was breaking things up or if he was receiving the ball under pressure from a centre half or whatever. So he's making your life or other players simple. He's doing that. the right thing for the team, but he's actually working in a very industrial area where actually it's more difficult to be simple because... Getting rid of it quickly, if you hear thundering hooves, is, is, wasn't a temptation for him, but it must be a temptation. No, but, but, but again, like everyone used to go, oh, shoot David, shoot David. But David knew his limitations. And he just said, well, why would I shoot? Why wouldn't I not give the ball to someone that's a better shooter than me? And like I said, it's, football's not difficult. Mm -hmm. It's a simple game if you play it properly. Mm -hmm. And do you stay in touch? With bats? Yeah. No. Does anybody? <laughs> no. No, I don't think so.